Apple stock is in a critical situation right now, trading under a very important resistance level. Now you should prepare yourself because any weakness sign in this area might indicate that it will correct again, maybe even resume the bearish sentiment. After all, it is still a bear market for Apple. On the other hand, what if we break this purple trend line over here? Will the trend truly reverse? Well, we'll see in this video. Welcome to the Finance Hydro channel. My name is Nathan. It is very nice to meet you guys. Let's analyze Apple's price action using technical analysis. Let's do our multiple time frame analysis on it first in the one hour chart. It is still a crystal clear bull trend. However, it is quite problematic to see this going on. It feels like Apple is trying to trigger a double top chart pattern. If we actually close under the 21 EMA in the one hour chart over here doing a crystal clear bearish candlestick over here, I think Apple will correct more, potentially doing a sharper correction seen in the daily chart, frustrating the bullish sentiment we see in the one hour chart over here. A sharper correction would take us in the daily chart back to its 21 EMA over here. And this is it. Now, the main problem is that it is showing weakness signs just under this resistance level over here. This is quite problematic because if Apple fails in breaking this resistance, well, the bear trend will just persist a little bit longer. It would require an amazing bullish reaction around the 21 EMA, around the 50% Fibonacci retracement over here in the daily chart in this area in order for Apple to do a convincing movement that, okay, maybe the trend is going to truly reverse because as long as we stay under this purple trend line over here, it is not a bull trend. It is just a bear trend. And the fact that Tesla, I'm so sorry, Apple, the fact that Apple went up 15% uh, from the previous bottom over here, it only indicates that it is bouncing right now. So far, this is just a bounce because we have yet to see a crystal clear higher high, higher higher low. So far, Apple is just doing lower highs, lower lows, right? It is in a crystal clear bear trend over here. It is not reacting. We don't see any meaningful bullish movement. But if we react from here and trigger a higher high, then I believe Apple is going to reverse the bearish sentiment. And in this scenario, it is going to easily retest the next Res resistance area around $150 again, as we can see over here in the weekly chart as well. This is the first technical target on Apple. Now, Nathan, you are saying, you are assuming that Apple is going to break this purple trend line and uh, you are building a bullish thesis on it right now. Yes, this is a bullish thesis, but what if Apple fails in reacting? around the 50% retracement, around the 21 EMA in the daily chart, what if we lose this support level over here? Then the bear trend will persist in the weekly chart as well, because Apple just retested a resistance level over here. And if it fails in breaking it, and if it does a bearish candlestick pattern under this purple line, then it is going to confirm a top sign in the weekly chart. And in this scenario, I see Apple retesting the 128 again. And as you guys already know, as I already told you guys in previous videos, the 128 is the most important support level. It is, it is by far the most important critical key point we should pay attention on Apple right now. If Apple loses the 128, it is going to trigger a very, very problematic, very bearish structure seen in the monthly chart, it is gonna trigger a lower high, lower low, a bearish pivot point in the monthly chart. In this scenario, since we respected the first retracement, the 38.2 twice over here, if we lose the 38.2%, we are gonna seek the 61.8% next, because this is what happens most of the time when Apple respects the first retracement and then loses it afterwards. Usually we ignore the second retracement at the 50% and seek the 61.8% in one single blow. And this happened in the past. This happened over here. 
during the 2008 crisis, we did trigger a pivot point, a bearish pivot point from the breakout to the next bottom, it dropped 34%. It did this again over here uh, during the dot-com bubble, it did trigger a bearish pivot point and uh, after the breakout, we dropped uh, 65%. So if Apple triggers this pivot point and drops more 27% uh, to the next retracement, I wouldn't be surprised at all because history would just repeat itself again. So let's be aware of the 128. Right now, right now, if you are still watching this video and you are not my subscriber, come on, consider subscribing almost six, seven minutes right now watching me so far. So what the hell, subscribe, probably you like it, the content so far. So seriously, join the community. And of course, if you wanna join the top 5% of traders, check my website. The link is in the description of this video. We are literally the top 5% of traders. I'm not kidding. My performance has a public track record. Check my website, all right? Now, it all depends on how Apple is going to react in this area over here under this resistance level. If we find a top level over here, okay, a pullback to the 136, 135 is expected. But if we lose this support level, the 128 is the next target on Apple. If we lose the 128, then it is gonna be a catastrophe. It is going to be a 2008, a dot-com bubble, again, most likely using technical analysis, of course. Now, if we break this purple trend line, then the bearish scenario will truly reverse. Of course, I would be happier if we see a crystal clear higher high, higher low, right? But okay, breaking this purple trend line is the first step of a true reversal sign on Apple. Let's pay extra attention right now because the situation could not be more critical in this scenario. Of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated in this channel. So again, consider subscribing. I really appreciate your audience, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Farewell.